Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about the light driven robot. Super easy, super cool. It's going to make everybody's head go, wait, what the heck? How does it do that? So it's just going to be something I really want to show you. Stay with me. And hey guys, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here. It's going to be on there the whole video. I always try to bring you guys uh, really cool, informative videos Monday through Thursday. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Okay, for this light driven robot, all we need is just a robot where the motors are plugged into B and C. And just a color sensor. Okay, we have it plugged into port 3. Done. Uh, the reason I have it uh, plugged in this way is um, I don't want it, I I could actually face it straight up. It would just, uh, it would be powered up by the lights of my classroom. I just turned it sideways just so it wouldn't get a ton of light right now. Um, but here's what happens when we run this program. It's just going to spin. And then if I ended up, end up giving it more light, it should spin faster. So let me go get my flashlight. So if I don't do anything, this robot will just rotate the way it does right now. But I have my handy dandy flashlight right here. This thing puts out a lot of light. And watch what will happen. So you can see how the more light I give it, the faster it spins. And if I give it no light, it should go back to the way it was. Right in there. And, you know, if I even maybe cover it up with my finger here. Just trying to, not to give it any light. It will slow down. And then more light. That thing went fast. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how to program this, and then we'll come back and take a look at it again. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego Mindstorm software here, and the program is so incredibly easy. Let's get straight to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your orange tab here, your flow control tab, and you're going to bring up a loop block, like so. Then we're going to go to your yellow tab here, and we're going to bring up a color sensor block. We are going to put it on for measure and we want ambient light intensity. And I'll show you what that is in a second. Okay, and then the last block is going to be uh, just a regular steering block. We're going to put it right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just make it do a turn. Actually, we're just going to leave it on for that turn. And we're going to now just use a data wire and we're going to connect it from there, from our color sensor, straight into there. And that's it. That is the program that's going to have our light driven robot here um, basically rotate um, in the intensity of the light that we shine into that color sensor. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this robot responds to this program. So from the program, you can see that we went from measure to ambient light. So it's basically picking up as much light through this color sensor as it can. And the more light it gets, the more motor speed that it's going to have. We take away the light source, it should go back to its standard amount of motor speed here really really cool guys so it's just another way that the color sensor uh, can be used to affect your lego mindstorms ev3 robot 
All right. So hopefully you liked this, uh, and you can. The nice thing about it is you can put this on any robot. I mean, you have a Riley Rover here, an Educator Bot, just any robot that has the BNC motors that you can put a color sensor there in the port three, and this program runs off of. All right, you guys. Hopefully you loved it. Still continue. You guys have till today to tell me where you are from to be in the "Where Are You From" video. Uh, if you want to see that, check out the video at the end of this video to link up to see if you can tell me where you are before the day is up. All right, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Zega Robotics. I'm out.